Hey everyone, uh, doing an AWE video. Um, got an appliance repair, I suppose you can call it. It's a little tiny Roy Mac portable air compressor. Made in Australia, it's got a Crompton Parkinson quarter power motor on it. The head's down at Peter's. It's got a broken stem in it and he's removing it for us. Um, but yeah, not a bad little fine scrapyard. Um, they had it broken back. Ooh, it's over, somewhere over there. But this was cracked through here. And uh, Roscoe goes, oh, I got one of those, and goes around up in the shelves of monks of poles of welders and motors and shit up there. Um, and oh, big compressor just turned on, um, and found a new back for it. Problem was though, the bearing was a different size, so we finally got a new bearing, and we'll take the back off to install it. Well, there we are, bearings on. Just uh, tapped it very light with the steel hammer and the cloth. Had to warm it up, of course, the heat gun. Make it slide on there nice and easy, but she's on there now. Show you the small little rotor and the switch. The centrifugal switch, it should. That works. There's the contacts in and there. Oh, should be clean. These windings look like they were replaced, never reused. Pin rewound, Roscoe reckons. And that's a motor rewinder, you probably should know. So, right, oh, that's that. We'll uh, pop him back in and then do some wiring on it. Just to show the universality of uh, back in the day, well, this is probably. Nine, mid 60s this motor but these switches here you see them a lot of equipment they're just a standard ring grip or clips or switch and they even use they're the same as the light switches just one switch fits everything anyway it's nice I'll no cracks in it good um, wide in the switch when I got it was wide on the neutral um, I'm gonna switch on the neutral which is a big no-no anyway should work fine now um, let's wire it in, fit it all back off, tighten the nuts up, and I'll give a test run for the camera. She's all uh, plugged in on a nice old cord, rewired on, switched off obviously. Um, I'm not going to run it long because there's no oil in it, and because we, we've got to make a bung for there. It was missing its bung unfortunately. But, here he goes, here's the almighty test. It's all good. All run, vibrates over the place, but can't run it for long, like I said, because the, there's no oil in there. Don't want to stuff the bearings in that end. It's a lot hard to get at. Anyway, I'll uh, we'll be on me on the lathe making that probably tomorrow, maybe tomorrow night. Nonetheless, see you later. 